So I think it's sacred for women to come together to talk about food and agriculture, not only because we're the guardians of the home and of the family, the children, but because our bodies are so affected by the environment. Our bodies each month are reminded about how the environment affects us. Children and um, future come from our bodies, not only you know through childbirth, but through the sweat and the, the, the labor of women. And so I think it's not only sacred, but it's about time that women are coming together to build a future. And um, I think actually the most important value that WFAN brings is the creation of a community. But when you come to these conferences, you actually see other people like you who care about these same issues and are just as passionate as you are about them. And I think that's so powerful, um, not only as for you affirmation that what you're feeling is not crazy, but also so powerful because when you combine people together, then you can you know, magnify the volume of, of people's passions. And I also think that the, when women come together, especially around food and agriculture, the conversation is different. You know, then when um, you just have, you know, a cross section of people coming together around food and agriculture, they tend to talk about policy. They tend to talk about, you know, the farm bill and things that are really wonky and cerebral. But when women come together and talk about food and agriculture, they talk about how their neighbors are struggling. They talk about how they worry for their children and how their children are being affected by all the hormones that are going into you know, the livestock industry. Or they worry about food security and they're thinking about other moms who can't feed their kids. So the conversation, you know, the content is so different. You know, there is truly a gap in our country between women's skills and their potential and then the actual number of women in leadership positions or in positions of power. And we have to bridge that gap. It's unacceptable in 2013. Like, it's unacceptable that we have that gap. Um, and I think especially around food and agriculture, it's not just those two issues, right? When you talk about food, you talk about agriculture, you're also talking about security, whether it's food security or national security. You're also talking about poverty. You're also talking about health. You're also talking about racism and power, right? I mean, that's the intersection of food and agriculture. And women are at the forefront of all of that. And we're at the foundation of all of that. So it's appropriate that we should be having this conversation, <laughs> right? I'm done. I'm not going to right now. That was so awesome. Okay. You are awesome. super cool. Awesome. <laughs>